Hello and welcome to the uh, February edition of, uh, well January and February edition of 2017's Hero Magazine. <laughs> you can't even see the word Hero. Uh, inside this pack you get uh, two or uh, three bonus items. Uh, you have a little uh, ink stamp uh, some with some game logos and stuff on it. It just comes in this box here. This little little box and uh, shows you the different stamps on the back uh, as a little roll up cardboard inside just to keep the box up uh, so you got the stamp here like like oop, upside down uh, like so like so and just <clears throat> remove the plastic wrapper oop. Uh, I have a book here in front of me a little, little paper booklet so I'm going to stamp these uh, so we have a game image on the front. Come out of game. Um, 2013 issue more. Blah 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 blah. Uh, okay, so uh, first one here. Open that up. We got an orange stamp, like so. Ooh, so I'm just going to stamp that once. Okay, stamps pretty well. Uh, let's see the second one. Second one, okay, we have the uh, Gaim head in the second one. Focus, saving up. Stamp. And then the third one, we have the uh, the Baron head. You just gotta stamp that. Oh, stamp too hard, maybe. Right. So, uh, yeah, uh, Gaim logo's uh, appropriately orange. Gaim head is appropriately blue and red is barren, so all pretty appropriate. I think sort of smudged it a little bit. Oh well. That's stamps for you. And we also have two other items here. Uh, the Since it was just Chinese New Year, there's some uh, Chinese New Year thing you stick on top. It says healthy body, or body healthy, depending how you want to translate that. And um, this translates to uh, may your wishes come true, like your heart's desires, with Tokyo on the side. So, um, yes, oddly appropriate for the uh, two shows. Uh, oh well, uh, those are traditional Chinese for character uh, phrases for Chinese New Year. So, uh, oh, open this up. Oh, look at this, Loxy. You're not going out in Hong Kong because screw you. That's why. That's the uh, official. Uh, Reason, <laughs> uh, Kiwami arms already, yeah, and uh, just a few images of Kiwami arms here, and him using different weapons, the uh, Gaim and Kikaida, uh, to Kikaida, uh, reboot crossover, which was a bit of an odd episode. Some of the overlords, uh, still showcasing some of these toys, these these terrible toys. Uh, <laughs> And some Tokyo just stuff. Oh, the uh, showcasing this page showcasing the Shaw vs. Heisei guidebook, which they finally just released. Uh, not really releasing DVD or anything or Blu ray, it's just just the guidebook. Um, Gambarizing stuff, I, I think I'm stopping gambarizing. It's uh, the amount of money to invest to get those cards and the views just doesn't balance up so. Uh, plus, it's not Gamberite cards anymore, so I have no reason to get it. Because if it was Gamberite, I can still say, oh, it's decayed stuff, but uh, not the Gamberizing stuff. Uh, Dark Tokuja, of course, color swaps. Do do do. Still showing Tokuja toys, uh, Ultraman stuff. And uh, <laughs> the uh, they've remade the suit that they use. Uh, in the past, when they had a creature, uh, they were like, oh, will you finish filming Godzilla? Can we use that suit, that old suit, please? And so they did that, and now they've remade him. So this is, like, not Godzilla. Right in the corner, right there. Right there. Oh, see that? It's got, like, classic Godzilla shape, but not Godzilla. Imagine if they rebooted this and they just took like the newer Godzilla suits and, uh, and made that into the monster. So just uh, Ultraman um, fighting some other monsters. Uh, Yokai Watch. Some Yokai Watch stuff. Okay, uh, Candy and Gashapon toys. Uh, we have stage 3 of X8. More. X8 stuff. Uh, some soft vinyl uh, Ultraman stuff. And let's see, uh, Gashapon release of uh, the X8 uh, game driver and uh, some hyper detailed weapons, which is, I think it's 1 6 scale, I'm not sure. It's an odd scale, 
Uh, not 1 6th scale, that's impossible. It's not even 1 12th. It's a bit bigger than 1 12th. It's like just a weird scale that doesn't match with anything. Um, which is stupid and annoying. Um, oh, and some, I'm having some cards there because um, I guess there are not enough candy toy gashapons going on. Mm. Yeah, the mini soft final rider figures are no more, which is again also very annoying. Um, that's why you haven't seen me do them. Last one was Ghost with only one X8 figure released. Uh, supposed to be funny gambarizing comics, their own comics, kick out of information. I guess they put the game logo there because it's from the crossover. Uh, Lego Batman movie. Oh, and the uh, Japanese toy show on uh, February 10th to 13th, for just three days. Uh, I'm definitely going to head there and uh, see if I can get some get to get to the Bandai booth and see if they have any good products. Uh, oh, showcasing the stamp and playing tic tac toe with it or something. Uh, coloring thing for Kachidoki arms. That's cool. That's a cool image. Nice and simple. Oh, uh, make your own weirdo A, B, C, D dice. Um, games for kids. Pass issues. Next time there's a gambarizing card plus. Um, uh, that uh, you. What's the first one? A board game or something? Uh, um, mm. I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> Oops. Uh, next issue, uh, game pricing card and... Um, yeah, I think some sort of board game or dice. Oh, well. uh, blah, blah, blah. Submission, submission. If you fill in the form, you have a chance of winning some of these DX toys and the not-so-good game belt and some... Uh, a few of the game soft final stuff, the bigger ones. On the back, uh, they've released the uh, Hero, the Lucky Magazine comic of just the game bit as its own standalone thing, as well as giving a game prizing card with it. And at the bottom, advertising the Showa versus Heisei guidebook. <sighs> Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye bye.